Uh, hi. So, a while back, my friend Medexcraft08 made a 3x3 wall draw with an opening time of just 0.3 seconds. Now, a few days before that, I had made my 4x4 wall draw of the same speed, which he may or may not have taken inspiration from. And I was actually going to make a 3x3 version, but he did make it first, so I was kind of mad because he technically took the record. Now obviously I just couldn't let this be, so I decided to make a smaller one. And I mean, the door did work, but it used a constantly running observer clock and it may have been unreliable. Yeah, basically what I'm saying is the door sucked. So anyway, many months later, I was just kind of bored one day and randomly I decided to make an actually good version of the door, and here we are. So this is the new 3 plus 3 volt door I made. It has an opening and closing time of just 0.3 seconds, which for opening is actually the fastest possible. And not only that, it's pretty much as small as it can be, at only 192 blocks. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into building it. So to make this door, you'll need these materials. And for my recommended input, you'll need these. Right, so first you want to get a 3x3 hallway like this, that's at least 3 wide. Then we can start with the layout. So first you want to come down here and place two sticky pistons like this with slime on top. Now you could also use honey if you wanted to, but I'm just going to be sticking with slime. Then place two blocks like this with normal pistons facing them. This will be used for pushing the blocks in place for closing. Then just go to the other side and place pistons pushing them back like so. Then at the bottom just place a sticky piston here that will pull this block down when the door is closed. Then on the other side just place a temporary block right here with a normal piston on top. And then you can just break the temporary block. Then for the single piston extenders you want to place 4 like this. 4 on the top like so. And then 4 on the other side like so. And that's actually the whole layout done. Then for the wiring you want to come to the front of the door and place a solid immovable block right here. Then just place two blocks and a slab and just put dust on all of those. And next to the slab you want to place a sticky piston with a block on its head. Then you want to place three blocks like so with dust on top. And then a normal piston with a sticky piston below it with a redstone block on its head. Then to power this piston, once again you want to place a sticky piston with a redstone block on its head. For the single piston extenders you want to place two slabs and two blocks like so. And then just redstone dust with two target blocks at the top. Then just continue the line, add four blocks like so with dust on top, and then two targets like so. Then down here you want to place a load block, then shift and place a sticky piston with a redstone block on its head. Then place a block right here with dust on top. Then down here you want to place two downward facing normal pistons like this. And finally just place two blocks like so with dust on top and then a sticky piston with a redstone block on its head. And we're done. So now if you come to the front door and place a lever here, you'll see that the door closes and opens. So yeah, you've got a working door. Now this door just needs a proper input and there are many ways of doing it. But the method I'm showcasing is easy to use, completely instant and fully reliable. So yeah, let's make it. So first just remove the lever and then you can extend the floor like so. And then go to the other side and do the same thing. Then one block from the door you want to place a pressure plate of your choosing. And again do the same thing on the other side as well. Then below the pressure plate you want to place a block with redstone dust on top. Then below the block you want to place a sticky piston facing the door and to the left you want to place another one. And then place a block and a redstone block like so. And then you want to add three blocks like this with dust on top. So the circuit we just made is actually arising at Zerotic Generator. Which basically means that it instantly generates Zerotic pools when the redstone dust turns on. Anyway, so then we just need to repeat the same thing on the other side. So again below the pressure plate you want to place a block with redstone dust on top. 
Then place a sticky piston facing the door like so, but this time place the other one on the right. Then place a block and a redstone block like so, and these three blocks with dust on top. Alright, so now that we have our two serotic generators, we can connect them up like so. Alright, so now to actually power the door, you want to place a sticky piston here with a redstone block on set. In order to make this spam proof, you want to place another sticky piston right here, but this time with a target block on set. Now with that circuit in place, you just want to connect the redstone line to the target block like so, and that's actually the whole input circuit done. So now if you just walk on the pressure plates, you'll see that they activate the door. Alright, so one last note, uh, if you want to change the door blocks, just be aware that you have to replace the redstone dust on top of these three blocks, and that there are extra blocks down here that you might need to replace. But yeah, that's about it. Okay, bye.